residents all around Las Vegas have reported seeing mysterious lights. Some of the first reports came in on the 1st of March, when people posted photographs and videos of large balls of lights in the sky, noting that whatever these lights belonged to they were big, and that they stayed in a strict V formation. This caused others to say that these lights may have been part of one craft, further saying that if this was the case this single object would have been huge. The lights were reported by people on different sides of Sin City on Monday the 1st of March, with local residents saying the lights appeared at around 7.30pm. It soon started to trend on social media, with users wanting to know what the lights were. Due to Nellis Air Force Base being close, some suggested that they may have been flares, but this doesn't match up with eyewitness testimonies. One man who said he works with the Department of Homeland Security told several media outlets that the lights bear no resemblance to the military flares that he's experienced in the past, with others coming forward and saying that the lights didn't act like typical military flares, as they were very stationary and didn't move around like a normal flare does. After people started to demand answers for what was seen above Las Vegas, the Federal Aviation Administration did respond to those asking questions, and said that the lights from the Las Vegas Valley were flares from the NW military ranges. One person said the following, On Monday me and my wife looked up directly above downtown Las Vegas and saw multiple lights. We weren't the only ones who saw these as I soon reached out to a friend and they said they'd seen the same thing. These glowing orbs were hovering in a perfect formation for what I would say was around 5 minutes. When I spoke to my friend who had also seen these lights we both found it interesting how remarkably similar they were to the famous Phoenix lights. I for one don't think these were flares. I've observed military flares in the past and these lights didn't drift or emit any smoke. Not everyone bought this answer though, and said that various V-shaped UFOs have been observed in the past, and when questioned about it, officials normally blame the lights on things like flares. This soon created an interesting discussion, where people compared these lights to similar looking lights that have been reported in the past. Those who study and investigate UFOs have said these shaped crafts are some of the most commonly shaped UFOs, and that most researchers agree that these lights are not individual objects, but rather belong to one large craft. There's still ongoing discussions within these groups as to whether V-shaped crafts and the triangle-shaped crafts are the same, with some amateur researchers saying that V-shaped crafts are more slender, and have lights running up the entire craft while the triangle UFO seems to have three distinctive lights which are usually white or red in colour. Another question that often comes up is who do these crafts belong to? Those who have studied this topic have said there's an argument for both sides, with some saying that these belong to us and they're part of a top secret programme. Interestingly, black triangles aren't anything new. Black Triangle UFOs are a type of craft that have been seen in our skies for years now, and although we have various photographs and videos of them, there's still many unanswered questions. For example, how are they able to travel at the speeds they do? How are they able to use camouflage tech? And how can they hover motionless in one area without making a sound? It's these questions that have led some to think they don't belong to us. After all, we currently don't have any aircrafts that's able to match what these crafts do. These black triangles are hundreds of years more advanced than our current tank. So where did these things come from? And how are they able to achieve what they do? At this moment in time, no military has come forward to claim it's them who's behind these sightings. But most UFO researchers think these black triangles are part of a secret program. And this is their latest creation. However, sightings and encounters have gone against this, saying that these crafts have been observed in our skies for decades. In fact, there's even photographs of these triangles that were taken back in 1945, with pilots from these times coming forward and detailing their strange encounters with strange triangular shaped crafts. Not only does this mean that these crafts are at least 80 years old, 
but it also means that if they belong to us, our governments were using advanced tech in a time when the rest of the world had basic aircrafts. How did we have this type of tech during a time when battles were taking place using basic aeroplanes? As mentioned, it's one of the reasons that some UFO researchers believe these crafts don't belong to us. In fact, even military officials have come forward in detail with their encounters with them, demanding an answer for what they encountered. Many of these eyewitnesses would say these triangle-shaped crafts seem interested in their planes. Then when they tried to get closer, the crafts would vanish within seconds, easily being much faster than the planes during those times. Interestingly, this led to these objects being given the name of Foo Fighters. As mentioned earlier, commercial airline pilots have also detailed their strange encounters with these large triangular shaped crafts, with one pilot saying that he was flying above Florida when he saw one of these crafts fly past him at speeds exceeding 4,000 miles per hour. He said that he watched as this thing covered the curvature of the earth within a matter of seconds. He said that he'd never seen anything so quick in his life. So what do you make of these interesting lights that were seen above Las Vegas? Do you think they belong to a mysterious craft? Perhaps one that belonged to the military? Or do you think these were just flares? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.